This is Mohammed. This is Mohammed Hamouda speaking. Today we are going to talk about English reduced. Or today we are going to continue talking about English reduced forms in Arabic scientific translation. Actually, this lecture, this last lecture, we have talked about English reduced forms in general, or the process of. Uh, the process of forming new words in a language or in English and Arabic. And we said that reduction means removal, removal of certain parts of from the word. And we remove, we take other parts or the rest of these words or phrases. Then we use these existing words uh, to refer to the original words. For example, uh, LCD, liquid, crystal display. We have taken the initial letter of every word, L from liquid, C from crystal, D from display. We put them together and we use these three letters to refer to the original phrase, which is liquid crystal display. LCD, this process means reduction, reduction removal. We remove, uh, the re we have taken only one letter and then we remove the rest letters of the word. Okay, now uh, actually the process of reduced or reduced the process of forming new words the first strategy or the first process is called acronyms, acronyms and abbreviations. And we have differentiated between acronyms and abbreviations. And we have said that acronyms means taking the initial letter of every word and we put these letters together and pronounce them as a one word. For example, food and agricultural organization. We have take F from food, A from organization, agricultural and O from organization. We put the three letters together and pronounce them as a word, FAW. Uh, while abbreviations, taking the initial letter of every word, we put these letters together but we pronounce these letters individually, not as a word. For example, United States of America, U from United, S from State, A from America, but we pronounce them individually, U, S, A. And this is the difference between acronyms and abbreviations. The only difference is related to spoken language or pronunciation of the existed or the resulted word. For example, in acronyms, we pronounce the resulted word as a word or the, the resulted, the result. We pronounce the result of taking the initial letter or every word from the phrase as a word, while in abbreviations, we pronounce them as in as letters, letter by letter, U S A, letter by letter. Okay. The second technique means clipping. Clipping means uh, cutting up only, cutting up the word, and we take only the initial syllable of the word, and we use this initial syllable to refer to the original word. For example. Laboratory, we take the initial syllable, which is lab, and we use this initial syllable, lab, uh, to refer to the original word, laboratory. The second or the three technique is the blending. And we said that blending means taking the initial letter of, uh, or taking the initial syllable from the first word and Taking the last syllable from the second word, we put these two syllables together and pronounce them as a one word, as a word. Uh, for example, uh, brunch. We take 
the initial letter from breakfast and the last letter from lunch or the last syllable from lunch these two syllables are put together and pronounced as brunch and it refers to a meal between or eating between a breakfast and lunch okay now also we have addressed the, these issues in arabic and we said acronyms in arabic most of the acronyms in arabic are religiously based or religiously bound for example uh, that means most of them uh, occur in a religious context, for example, هل هلا لا إله إلا الله كبر الله أكبر بسملة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حوقلة لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. While in English, most of the acronyms are technologically and scientifically based. Most of them are related to technology uh, or technical. Uh, te technical expressions or scientific expressions okay and this is a very very important uh, question uh, if i ask you in the exam that most of the acronyms in arabic are technically based or scientifically based false most of them are religiously based um, also some acronyms in arabic are uh, are spoken uh, are written but not spoken. For example, Salama, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We write it Salama, uh, we write it Salama, but we does not, we don't pronounce it as Salama. Okay. Uh, uh, also, a clipping in Arabic, for example, Al Mutashail, Al Mutashaim. Uh, المتشائل. We have taken the initial letters from متفائل initial syllable with the last syllable from متشائم We put these two syllables together so then we have a new word which is متشائم قصد uh, متشائل Okay Also regarding uh, Yeah now, in this lecture, we are going to talk about translation of English acronyms or English reduced forms into Arabic. Uh, the first strategy, now we have several strategies or six main strategies that we can be used or that we can use to render English reduced forms into Arabic. The first sent the first strategy is translation alone. Translation means relying relying on literal translation strategy to render the reduced form. For example, and if we have a word, for example, uh, calf, we render it as California in Arabic. It is we render it literally as California. The second strategy is the translation plus uh, reduced English form. For example, this strategy uh, is a combination of two procedures. The first procedure is similar to the first strategy uh, when in which we translate the reduced form as it is literally then we write it between brackets uh, the third strategy is arabic generic word plus borrowing in this strategy we borrow the same word or the same english uh, reduced form literally we mean borrowing means transliterating the, the term, then we use an Arabic generic word to clarify the term and to reflect its meaning and to indicate its nature. Okay, the fourth strategy is borrowing alone. In this strategy, we only transliterate the term uh, without adding anything. Uh, transliteration means writing the English term using Arabic alphabets only. 
Uh, the fifth strategy is borrowing the acronym, borrowing plus acronym. In this strategy, it, it is a combination of two procedures also. The first procedure is to transliterate the term as it is uh, using Arabic alphabets. Then we write the acronym between the brackets at as it is in English. And we write the original acronym between the brackets. يعني هنا حيكون حاجتين. الأولى حأكتبه حأكتبه باللغة العربية كما كما ألفظه باللغة الإنجليزية. الحاجة الثانية between two brackets بأكتب الترم نفسه باللغة الإنجليزية. Okay. طيب. The sixth, the sixth strategy is the translation plus borrowing. In this strategy, first of all, we transliterate or we trans, translate the term literally. Then we borrow it or we transliterate it into Arabic using Arabic alphabets. Now, to clarify these strategies, look at or let us dive deep and talk about every strategy alone and discuss some examples about it or related to it the first strategy is translation alone in this strategy uh, we rely to the original word and then we render the original word literally into Arabic. For example, look at the first example, cliff. cliff. Uh, uh, California. We transliterate the original word, which is California. Hey, tarjamna California. وبعدها استخدمنا الترجمة هذه للتعبير عن الكليبت فورم اللي هو cliff. نفس الحاجة لاب لاب أنا برجع للكلمة الأصلية اللي هي لابراتوري وأنا بترجم الكلمة الأصلية لابراتوري مختبر فبستخدم ترجمة ترجمة الكلمة الأصلية للتعبير عن الكليفنج فورم لاب أوكي ناو أبريفيشنز أولسو ذا سيم إن ذيس استراتيجي we render U.S. We have U.S. for example, United States of America. We rely to the original word. We re, we go back to the original phrase, which is United States of America, and then we render the original word or the original phrase as الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية. وبالتالي أنا بستخدم ترجمة الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية اللي هو الأوريجينال فريز للتعبير عن أو لترجمة الأبريفيتد فورم USA نفس الحاجة UK United Kingdom we rely to the original we return back to the original phrase United Kingdom we render it into المملكة المتحدة بستخدم المملكة المتحدة لترجمة الأبريفيشن UK. Now blended forms ecosystem we rely to the original word eco uh, ecosystem system منظومة eco ecology we return to the original word ecology and system we render them into المنظومة البيئية then we use the the uh, the translated version al manzoom al biya to render the blended form ecosystem. نفس الحاجة uh, Midwest biostatistician and so on. Okay. Now, actually, here also we have an example, CIA. أنا هنا ممكن أنا أستخدم اللغة العربية اللغة أكتب نفس الحروف الإنجليزية بس باللغة العربية CIA زي ما هيك مترجمهم هذه بسميها الاستراتيجية borrowing 
جايينها ان شاء الله في لاحقا يعني هنتكلم عنها طيب translation plus reduced the reduced form in this strategy we rely we rely on the original phrase we render the original phrase literally then we write the reduced form between brackets uh, as it is for example co2 ثاني اكسيد الكربون حنرجع احنا في co2 حنرجع للنص الاصلي وبعد هنترجم النص الاصلي ل... بشكل حرفي لثاني اكسيد الكربون وبعدها بكتب ال CO2 between brackets or beside the the literal translation يعني هنا combination of two techniques اوكي آه. هذول الشغلات مش مهم طيب نجي لهذه هذه مهمة نجي Arabic generic word plus borrowing هنا حس أنا ح translated أنا حعمل translation the to the original phrase using Arabic alphabets and then we use an Arabic generic word to refer to the original phrase or to 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 indicate the purpose and the nature of the original phrase. For example, it HIV فأنا ممكن أترجمها فيروس HIV فأنا هان أول حاجة استخدمت borrowing فأنا هاي HIV زي ما هي borrowing واستخدمت كلمة فيروس للتعبير عن مين عن طبيعة هذا ال HIV إيش هو عبارة عن إيش تمام طيب ناخد أمثلة أخرى TNT ممكن أترجمها بقول مادة متفجرة TNT مادة TNT المتفجرة هنا TNT استعرتها كما هي من اللغة الإنجليزية بس أنا استخدمت generic word Arabic generic word مادة أو متفجرة للتعبير عن طبيعة هذه الاكسبريشن الاصلي هذا الاكسبريشن الاصلي اللي هو تي ان تي اوكي ناو بروينج الون هنا بروينج الون بس تعيير او ترانسليت ذا اوريجينال فريز يوزنج عربيك الفابيتس ايدز بكتبوا ايدز كما هو بس باللغه العربيه دي ان اي بكتبوا دي الدنا باللغه العربيه نفس الحاجه اليونسكو او يونيسيف بكتبهم نفسه بس بستخدم الحروف العربية في كتابتها اوكي تمام borrowing plus acronym in this strategy we borrow the acronym اوكي in this strategy we borrow the acronym and we write it into we write it as it is into English for example NATO بترجمها بترجمها and NATO وبين قوسين بكتب NATO باللغة الإنجليزية اوكي فأنا هنا حيكون عندي اثنين الأول هو عبارة عن borrowing أنا استعرت اللغة الإنجليزية استعرت النص الأصلي استعرت النص الأصلي للغة العربية وكتبته بالحروف بحروف اللغة العربية وبعدها أيضا بين قوسين كتبته باللغة الإنجليزية أوكي آخر آخر استراتيجية translation plus borrowing in this strategy we rely on the original phrase and we render the original phrase literally then we borrow the original phrase for example biodiversity بجل ال original phrase biology and diversity بترجمها التنوع البيولوجي وأيضا بين قوسين بكتب نفس الكلمة باللغة الإنجليزية اوكي يعني بكتبها التنوع البيولوجي 
وبين قوسين بكتبها بايوديفيرسيتي أنا ترجمت أصل الكلمة أصل الفريز هذه الكلمة بايوديفيرسيتي أخذناها من بايولوجي أند دايفيرسيتي الكلمتين هدول ترجمتهم literally literal translation strategy as التنوع البيولوجي وبعدين بين قوسين كتبت biodiversity in English or كتبت ال original phrase okay كروموسوم for E هنا الصبغي for E أنا ترجمت الكروموسوم الصبغي هنا ترجمته وكتبت for E borrowing start البور الفور إي من اللغة العربية للغة الإنجليزية. Okay, actually these strategies are the most common strategies that can be used to render acronyms from English into or from English into Arabic or in a reduced form from English into Arabic. Uh, more also. The same strategies can be used to render the Arabic reduced form into English. For example, حوقلة أو بسم الله بسملة. أنا في اللغة الإنجليزية بس ب لما بدي ترجم بس البسملة بترجمها برجع على النص الأصلي اللي هو بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بترجم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم للغة الإنجليزية وبالتالي as with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, and the most gracious. هذه الترجمة أو هذه الترجمة ترجمة النص الأصلي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هي نفسها ترجمة البسملة. يعني نفس الاستراتيجيات اللي إحنا تكلمنا عنها باللغة الإنجليزية ل ترجمة reduced form from English into Arabic نفسهم بستخدمهم لترجمة Uh, reduced form من Arabic from Arabic into English uh, actually this is the end of this lecture I hope you get a lot of benefits if you have any question please contact me thank you very much